we have a new toy. In Betaflight 4.0, we have the option to set up OSD profiles, which can now include transmitter stick overlays. So today, we're going to go over three things to help us on our journey to better. First of all, we're going to go over how to set up the new Betaflight 4.0 OSD transmitter stick overlay, or what I like to call, sticks on a switch. Secondly, we're going to take a look at our Betaflight 4.0 PID tuning for our micro FPV quad. And lastly, we're going to demonstrate with a flight video using the sticks on a switch to learn FPV maneuvers. In our case, we'll be doing coordinated hairpin turns. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is uh, set up the switch on our transmitter by going to the mixer page, page 5 of 12, and selecting an open channel. In our case, channel 10. Mix name is going to be OSD. Everything we're doing here to set up our sticks on a switch is an easy to follow step-by-step -step checklist which can be downloaded from a link below. And our source, I'm going to make it switch B on our QX7 transmitter. And now on channel 10, we have switch B, OSD. Our next step is to go into Betaflight 4.0 using configurator 10.5.1. And go to the adjustments tab and then we want to enable these three adjustments and we'll be using aux 6 which is channel 10 since the first uh, four channels are for the uh, control sticks so aux 6 is actually channel 10 which is what we set up and we want to select osd profile selection And then with a battery connected to our quadcopter and our transmitter turned on, we want to flip the switch that we set up on our transmitter, which is in our case was switch B. So this is going to be profile 1 with a switch in the down position. With a switch in the middle position, we're going to set up profile 2. And if we wanted to, we could set up a third profile with a switch in the all the way up position since we are using a three position switch. Switch B is a three position switch. OSD profile one, OSD profile two, OSD profile three. Let's go back and save. And our last step in setting this up is to go to the OSD tab. And I've already set up my first OSD profile and on OSD profile two, what we want to add is our stick overlays, left and right, and click Save. All right, in order to use our fun stick overlays, uh, we need to make sure and upload the latest default font from the Font Manager. So we go in the lower right-hand corner, click on Font Manager. It's at default. All we need to do is say Upload Font. It's uploading. And this will allow us to display these stick overlays. It saves and reboots and we're good to go. And that'll do it. And since we're already in beta flight, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, show you the PID values that I've got for my Flex RC Ascent 3 inch that we're working on and how I came up with those PID values. If we go to the beta flight 4.0 tuning notes at this site here, we look at this important notice, set it up from scratch, don't just cut and paste old dumps into the CLI. 4.0 is sensitive to high P and D values and the faults are okay for a normal 4S 5-inch quad. That's not what we're using here. We're using a 4S 3-inch quad. For high thrust to weight ratio quads, for example 6S or ultralight builds, cut all the PID values by at least a third for your first flights. So what I've done is I've taken my Beta Flight 357 PID values and I've cut them by one third. Then what I did is I went over to the community presets on this site, and there's lots of them. Community presets, beta 4.0.x, UAV tech, and he's got different settings for brush, brushless whoop class, 2-3 to three inch quads with 11 and 12x motors, and in our case we're looking at 14-15x motors on a 3 inch quad. What I did was once I've lowered my 357 PID values by a third, I looked at these PID values 
and I split the difference between what I was left over by lowering my PID values by a third and these. And that's how I came up with the settings that I have. I went ahead and uh, used this filter settings with the exception of instead of 650, I set the low pass gyro max hertz at 700. The default is normally 450. And I also set this D term low pass 2 hertz to 100 and the D term low pass 2 type to PT1. For gyro low pass 2 type, which is not listed up here, I set that to PT1 as well and also to a minimum of 100 hertz. So I guess what that means is I didn't really use all of his filter settings. <laughs> I went ahead and made some tweaks to it, but it was based on his recommendations, UAV text recommendations from uh, one of his videos, which I'll go ahead and post in the links below. And these settings were also done in coordination with Mr. George Hartman. So here's what the filter settings actually look like. I set this to 700. Normally the default's 450. Both of these are at biquad. I did enable both of these to be conservative with my filtering, especially for first flights with Betaflight 4.0, and set them at PT1, both of them at PT1 with a minimum of 100 hertz. At least that's what was recommended by both UAV Tech and also uh, Josh Bardwell, so I'm following their leads on that. Dynamic gyro notch filtering is on. Then for PID settings, these are the values I have set for my Flex RC Ascent 3 inch. All right, with those settings and our OSD profile, let's go ahead and use our sticks on a switch for some hairpin turns. <laughs> 